I'm Todd Matheson with Victory Lutheran Church in Mesa, Arizona. Thanks for joining with me for some Daily Hope. Okay, for today's Daily Hope, I'm going to ask you to put on your theological thinking cap. Here's a question I've been mulling over. Is Adam's situation after the fall better than before the fall? I mean, what was God actually up to with his plan to redeem humanity? And would the final result be better than the original state? I mean, have you ever thought that, okay, God made creation, he called it good, and then wham, along comes Satan's temptation and Adam and Eve's fall. So then did God have to go, oh no, now I've got to go to plan B? Was redemption God's plan B? No, all along God was doing something better. Better than returning creation back to Eden's original state, even if Eden was perfect. But how do you improve upon perfect? Answer, redeemed Adam is better off than pre-fall Adam. Think about it. God is a redemptive God, and he can turn the worst predicament into an eternal victory. That's what God did with Adam's fall. Listen carefully to Romans 5, uh, verses 15 and 17. Now think along with me and listen well. But the gift is not like the trespass, the Bible says. For if the many died by the trespass of the one man... Okay, that's Adam. How much more did God's grace and the gift that came by the grace of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow to the many? And then in verse 17, For if by the trespass of the one man, Adam, death reigned through that one man, how much more will those who received God's abundant provision of grace and the gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. For Adam and Eve, as well as for you and me, God gives us grace that we need that takes us to a better place, better than if we had never sinned. God describes creation as being very good, only to create an more amazing future, His plan is to create something even better. God plans our redemption in this world and our resurrection in the world to come. Now, let me be very clear. I'm not saying God causes evil. I'm not saying God wanted evil to happen. I'm not saying that Adam is better off sinning. No. And I'm not saying that the fall was a necessary part of God's plan. Now, God knew what would happen, and he had a plan all along. But let's be clear. Humans do evil, which is bad. God does redemption, which is good. Scripture shows this redemptive pattern. Creation, fall, redemption, consummation. But, you know, I think we often don't realize that new creation is actually better than original creation. I mean, listen carefully to 2 Corinthians 5, 17. The Bible says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone. The new is here. In other words, creation, good. Fall, bad. Redemption really good. Consummation, best. And you know, in the interim, God even allows evil so that God can foil evil's best strategy and then transform it into an even greater good. I mean, do bad and awful and painful things continue to plague planet Earth? Of course they do. But God's plan remains intact, and his purposes will be fulfilled. And in that final day, 
as J.R.R. Tolkien so wonderfully penned it in Lord of the Rings, everything sad is going to come untrue. So take heart today, dearly beloved in Christ. God is doing a work in you better than you could ask for or imagine. Just ask God to give you clear eyes of faith to see his plan unfolding in your life. Let's pray. Father in heaven, this is your world. We are your creation. And you have known us since even before you made us. And each of our days are in your hands and you know what the beginning and the end of our life is. And you are with us every day in that journey. And you have an even better future planned for us hereafter. So I ask for your Holy Spirit to encourage anyone today who's listening or watching, who's really struggling and wondering what's going on in their life and if they can even hold on and get through it. Would you give them hope and encouragement that they would know that you know them, you care for them, you, you care about what's going on and you will walk with them each day, bringing them to the best future ever. So we ask for strength for one another this day, Jesus. In the power of your name I ask. Amen. Hey, thanks for joining with me today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you got a comment on today's post, please let me know. would love to dialogue with you on it. And may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus our Lord.